Kirk mentioned it last week that uh, you know they they've separated themselves you know from uh, from the rest of the pack and uh, they're getting equal number of reps uh, you know every day and, and you know it's, it's neck and neck and they're going at it like it is at this point too. How was Stanley's accuracy? We just haven't seen much of him. We've seen a little bit of Weavers, but not much of Stanley. Uh, you know, it's uh, his accuracy has been pretty good. You know, when uh, it, you know when uh, you know, we've given him the chance to get the ball out of his hands the right way. But you know, this is you know everything's new to these guys right now. So uh, we're working on the whole progression of the pass game, which starts with the drop. Uh, their feet end up leading them through their progressions. Their progressions affects their accuracy greatly. Uh, and then we're trying to focus on teaching them, uh, you know, teaching them the reads, training their eyes, uh, you know, to, to see how we want things done and, and uh, react accordingly. So we, you know, answer the, you know, the accuracy question that, you know, we've all been, you know, I would rate us right now somewhat, you know, average, you know, overall accurate, you know, as far as accuracy, accuracy is concerned, and um, but you know it's certainly better than uh, <coughs> weeks uh, you know weeks one and weeks two. Do you see this thing going in through August camp, and, and is it a good thing to have a competition like this? Yeah, I think competition is always good. I have no idea how far you know it will go, or or uh, you know, when somebody separates uh, you know totally from uh, you know uh, you know from the group. But uh, competition is never bad. Uh, it'll only help us. Uh, they're both sharp guys. You know, the you know the, the ability to learn and process uh, is, is pretty good. Uh, it's just a matter of getting reps and being able to react to how you process. That you know is, is probably going to be the thing that uh, you know that separates people in the end. Nathan was moved up to number two last. Knowing time. the town, knowing the neighborhood, obviously you know, you know we've yeah, we've known uh, you know the Ferences uh, you know for. for uh, for a long, long time, you know, you know, some other people on the staff as well. So, it's, uh, you know, it's been the easiest transition I could make, you know, at this at this stage. So, uh, it's been it's been good. I, you know, it's all, you know, this is this has been an easy transition with the <laughs> facility, and you know, I don't have to go too far to get a meal. Uh, you know, I have to go home and cook for myself. That would be a disaster at this stage. But I don't know how many nights can you eat at. Uh, in a row in Pancheros or whatever it is, you know, so thank God that's still here, otherwise I would be here. Yeah. <laughs>